what he said, Draymond, in the uh, in the podcast. He said, I've publicly said I didn't like Chris Paul before. I'm just not going to be like, oh man, that changed now, he my teammate. No, I look forward to talking amongst the men. I've had my fair share of days not working with adults and people who don't move like adults, so I'm looking forward to going to work with an adult. So, interesting. He kind of has a crack at him to begin with and says, well, I'm, I'm not going to say that I don't dislike you anymore just because you're my teammate. But then he he also comes around and is like, oh, no, I'm actually looking forward to working with you because you're an adult, though. So, that's a bit odd. Now, I'm not saying that... Dre, like, Dre's fine. Like, he... I'm not saying he has to love Chris Paul or even like Chris Paul. He can still dislike Chris Paul if he wants. I just would rather you not say that publicly. You don't have to say publicly that you love the guy or whatever, but I don't know why you have to reiterate that, hang on, I don't actually... I still don't like the guy, even though he's my teammate. Like, what well, I, I just don't know why you had to reiterate that point. It just... It doesn't help things, that's for sure. When you've got a new player coming in, when... There's already some some speculation about what role he's going to come into to, to begin with. There's already speculation on how you're going to fit with that player as Draymond Green. I just, yeah, it's not helping the situation. It's not helping the team dynamic going into next season. Now, I'm sure they've spoken privately and it's all fine, but it's not it's not helping. It's not helping. The, the bigger thing, and I wrote about this, and look, I... I want to remain I want to retain my writing integrity right like I wrote an article um, and the headline was Draymond Green's um, recent comments threatened to destabilize the Golden State Warriors again or something along those lines the de- destabilize was I guess the key word there my my thing there is I I'm not trying to get an attention grabbing headline I think a lot of people like we got a lot of comments on social media and stuff stating that you know that was an attention grabbing headline really and and me personally as writing that was just trying to make a mountain out of a molehill kind of thing i as i want to retain some writing integrity i don't want to go for an attention grabbing headline like i'm legitimately writing my opinion here this is what i'm thinking and i saw that i saw that quote and i thought I, like if you're a younger player if you're Jonathan Kaminga and Moses Moody in particular cuz they're the guys that will have the most impact for the warriors next season but even like Trace Jackson Davis and, and Brandon Pajemski, Lester Kinonez, these guys who we've spoken about at length over recent weeks because of their summer league and whatever else. Like, how do you think as those guys are reading those comments saying, I've had my fair share of days not working with adults and people who don't move like adults, so I'm looking forward to going to work with an adult. Because I know, I know that if I was in a workplace, even now, like legitimately now in a workplace, and I am 26 if someone said that about another colleague and then said, I've had my sh- fair share of days not working with adults and people who don't move like adults, and I was still there, I'd be like, am I an adult? Like, is he referring to me not being an adult? How's our relationship going? I would just like question everything. Now, Moses Moody, Jonathan Kaminga, the other young guys, they've probably got enough... Um, maturity behind them that they might not necessarily question that as much as I and some others would. But that was my instant reaction. My my instant thought was not that, oh, this is a, a huge issue between Draymond and Chris Paul, although, as I said, I don't think it helps. My bigger issue is what do the young guys think of a comment like that? And how can the young guys and the agent core work together next season to build the Warriors back to championship contenders? And then, so I write that article. A lot of people think it's, as I said, making a mountain out of a molehill. It's, you know, an attention-grabbing headline, whatever else. Like, that's that's fine. If you want to think that, I personally, as I said, I want to retain some integrity here. I'm not going to write shit for the sake of writing shit. Like, that is legitimately what I felt when I read and heard those quotes from Draymond.